In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. John Neumann, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that, as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment, endow the king and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. He also divided the two fish among them all. 
They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord's Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Celebrate uh, another American today, uh, St. John Neumann. He uh, was born in Bohemia, or today would be uh, Czech Republic, 1811. He immigrated to the United States. He was ordained for the, it wasn't the Archdiocese, it was the Diocese of New York at the time, which consisted of uh, all of New York State. And uh, I think a little bit extra, but I'm not a church historian, so I'll have to double check the lines. Uh, but he entered the uh, Redemptorist Fathers, and he was uh, made the Bishop of Philadelphia in 1852. And he passed away in 1860, and he was canonized uh, by uh, Saint, let's see, it was 1977. So I'm not sure which one, because I have three options. Uh, but in any event, uh, canonized in 1977, and you can still go down and uh, venerate his relics at the Cathedral in Philadelphia. Uh, but he was known, in the course of his ministry, he decided that if he was going to be uh, in a parish, uh, obviously all well, the sacraments were done in Latin at the time, but the ministry, uh, as today, would have been done in different languages. And uh, particularly in, in some place like Philadelphia, which was such a hub uh, for immigrants coming in, there were quite a lot of languages for him to learn. Uh, he had his own native Czech, of course, and uh, he was going out ministering to people who spoke English and, and German and different Slavic languages, uh, and he got so good at them that uh, there's, there's stories of he would go into the, the Irish parishes and he would hear confessions in Irish, and they would ask him uh, what county he was from. And he had to explain to them that not only was he from a county, he did not have a drop of Gaelic blood in him. And they would be very shocked to see a Slav walking out of the confessional at the end. His accent was so good. Uh, but how did he do it? How did he pick all these things up? Right? We talk about the gift of tongues in the church, and he certainly exhibited it. Uh, but he would stay up in the evening. So after he had finished all his prayers and all his ministry for the day, he would stay up in the evening because he would work on these languages that he was able uh, to minister to the people. Uh, and it's interesting when you think about it, I suppose for a lot of ourselves, that's the time uh, that we relax. So we can pop open a book or throw on the television or uh, whatever, maybe go for a run if you're an absolute madman, but, uh, or, or you know, healthy or whatever. Um, but that's what he was, he was using, and, and so uh, it's interesting to think of. He could have spent that time with, with other things, but he, he chose to spend it on what was productive, on what was going to build him up in his vocation, what was going to build him up in his discipleship. Uh, and so often when we think of our sins or our weaknesses or our failings, we think simply in terms of absence. So I don't want to do this thing anymore, and I don't want that. And that's a good thing. But I think maybe it's tougher to imagine, right? Nature abhors a vacuum. So what am I replacing it with? You know, because John Neumann, we call him a saint, so we probably don't think in these terms, but he could have popped over a cold one and hung out with some friends in the evening or cracked open a, a saucy little romance book. Uh, but he didn't. He didn't. He, he had an alternative. He had something that, that really could speak to him. As the, the Gospels say, they ate and were satisfied. So he found what was going to satisfy him in that leisure, what was going to, to build him up rather than drag him down. And so maybe today, in, in, through the intercession of uh, St. John Norman, we just spent some time in prayer just reflecting on those, those vices I wanted to feed, those sins I wanted to feed. Uh, that's good. We don't want those. But where am I called? What am I replacing them with? Because if I can spend my time in the prayer I'm called to, and in the work I'm called to, and in the leisure I'm called to, uh, what I'll discover by the end uh, is that I really don't have time for those vices or those sins. And uh, who knows, you might get so good at Irish that they will think you are an English speaker. <laughs>
that all members of the church may be filled with and conformed to the Spirit of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. That God's Spirit of justice may be upon national leaders, guiding them in service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. For the dying and all who bear the burden of sickness, may they share in and know the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. That the faithful departed, particularly those souls in purgatory in most need of our prayers, may soon find their place at the table of Christ's heavenly feast. Let us pray to the Lord. And at this Mass, we pray in a particular way for Tessie Greenan, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving and faithful God, hear these prayers we have brought before you with sincere hearts and answer them in accord with your divine will through your Son, Christ our Lord. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted to St. John Neumann to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Neumann, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and John our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all this good. <coughs> through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Everyone who has given up home, brothers or sisters, father or mother, wife or children, or property for my sake, will receive many times as much and inherit everlasting life. Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Neumann, we may experience the power of the sacrament and remain constantly in the Church through the bond of unity and truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just by way of reminder, as today is Tuesday, we will be having the perpetual novena to our Lady of the Miraculous Medal following Mass. Uh, so you're welcome to, to join us after that. And if you don't have the paper, uh, you can join us in spirit. And uh, the second thing, I want to thank Mrs. Allen for uh, reminding me. Due to uh, my non-existence, I, I was unable to pay much attention to dates in the 1970s. Uh, so I got the year wrong, uh, three popes. But uh, so John Newman was definitely canonized by Pope St. Paul VI. Okay. 
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise, and ever to rejoice in his consolation, for Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who would vouchsafe to glorify my humble miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit through the reign of God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Lombardi, grant me to see you that filled with light and humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Remember the most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone should fled to thy protection, implored by assistance, who sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Father. To you we come before you be kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, your name is Amen. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrate with the most lively confidence in your all powerful and never failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous method. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our worth souls, and souls of the world we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates to give me. Obtain for us then, deep hatred of sin, and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that for every thought, word, and deed, may tend to his great glory. Obtain for us also the spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed hope, where you are the king of the angels and men. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of Miraculous Memory. May this memory be for each one of us, a sure sign of your affection for us, and a constant reminder of our duties for you. Ever while bearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. 
O Mary, conceived without sin. See? 